So today I'm talking about a P0101 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0101 code? Well, it's a mass or volume airflow A circuit range performance. And what does this mean? Well, there's a sensor called a mass airflow sensor and it's located on the air intake box and it basically measures all the air that goes into the engine and then the onboard computer uses that information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that goes into the cylinders and the onboard computer seeing a problem with this so it's going to be troubleshooting to know why and so what are some possible causes well it could be a bad mass sensor could be a dirty intake air filter could be in the wiring could be a blown fuse could be a vacuum leak and sometimes it can also be like a restricted exhaust such as a clogged catalytic converter or something like that so if you're getting other Codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go check out your air intake filter and be sure that it's not dirty and clogged up or anything because if the air can't go into the engine then it's going to throw things off and that can cause issues. And so go and check your air intake filter and be sure that it looks okay. If it does look dirty then it's a good idea to replace it. And then the next thing to do is to go locate the MAF sensor on your particular vehicle and engine. It'll be located around the air intake box somewhere right around the air filter. It usually has like two or three bolts and a wiring harness going to it. For example here's a 2012 12 Toyota Corolla and you can see it's right here this is the air intake box and here's the mass sensor here's another example of a 2006 Chevy Silverado and the air intake box is right here and this right here is be the mass sensor and then after you locate the mass sensor be sure everything's plugged in good check out the wiring real good and basically keep in mind anything wrong with the wiring is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor so you want to check that out be sure that all looks good also keep in mind that these could be on a fuse it can be kind of vague sometimes which fuse it is for example here's a 2016 Honda CRV and and it's on this ACG number two fuse. And if that was a blow, it would cause an issue. So that's something to keep in mind. And what usually happens with these sensors is they just get dirty and they just need to be cleaned up. There's some special fluid called mass airflow sensor cleaner that you can buy online or at auto parts stores or things like this. And, they, and you can clean it up and put it back together. And quite commonly that does work. You can also use like isopropyl alcohol or something like that. But the next thing to do is to take it out, clean it up and see if that code won't clear. And so if you've done all that, you checked out the air intake filter, you checked out the wiring, that all looks good, there's no blowing fuses, you cleaned up that MAF sensor, and you still can't get this code to clear, then very likely that sensor has failed and needs to be replaced. You can test it if you want to. I made some videos on how you go about testing it. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But the next thing to do is either test or replace that MAF sensor. And so if you do all of that and you still can't get the code to clear, then it is possible that there's an intake vacuum leak somewhere around the engine and it's just throwing the sensor off and so the next thing to do would be to check for a vacuum leak and there's some different ways you go about doing this a very common method is that you use a smoke machine and you basically just feed smoke into the intake and wherever the smoke comes out you know there's a leak some mechanics will use like a liquid spray and, and they'll start up the engine and wherever they think the leaks at they'll spray the spray and if the idle changes then they know that's where the leaks at so there's some different ways you can go about trying to check for an intake vacuum leak but if you've gone through everything else out and you tested that sensor or replaced it and you you know it's good then the next thing to do would be to check for a vacuum leak and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing the, a vehicle with the p0101 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day